Welcome to Charts Today Energy. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Friday the 2nd of November comes to you from London. And we're seeing, uh, interestingly, the energy mix, uh, we're seeing crude falling, um, but a lot of the European energy products actually re rising a little bit on um, sentiment relief. But uh, if we just take a look at the, uh, the macro situation, the dollar falling back um, quite substantially over the last 24 hours so that's just put us into short-term bearish mode but still long-term bullish and if we look at the euro against the dollar uh, we see that uh, we've jumped to a bullish position this morning we don't have any upside targets yet on the 60 minute chart so we do, do still have downside targets hanging over us and interestingly this downside target on the euro never actually got quite activated so it looks like for the moment we're still a little bit in limbo. Dollar yen is actually holding its strength, so that's good news for the dollar, which dollar yen tends to be a lead indicator on the dollar. And sterling really jumped yesterday, so uh, on signs of a Brexit deal, and we're seeing that against the dollar and against the euro. So stronger sterling um, is quite key there. And against the Swiss franc, sterling actually looking pretty strong there as well. Uh, stock markets recovered quite sharply yesterday, um, and we're seeing the recovery coming back in but interestingly the move to a lower high uh, and then a lower low would still be very bearish for the market so there's but we're no means out of the woods in terms of global sentiment on stocks and apple uh, having come out with results last night will be key for whether the markets rise or not today in the u.s uh, looking at uh, europe though we're up uh, just under 1% uh, in UK and um, in Germany we're up over 1%. Gold looking stronger as well. So we're seeing uh, the gold price back to short-term bullish. Reflecting really still uh, some flight to safety. Um, taking a look at the energy mix, um, this data all coming from Thomson Reuters Icon. We see here with uh, Brent, we're actually just diving this morning at the opening and hitting those downside targets. And, and interestingly, on the on the one minute chart, we don't really have any new downside targets left. We've, they've all been met. So um, it's it's now a game of waiting for the next targets. But looking at the uh, the 60 minute chart, we see here again, um, we, we don't really have any clear downside targets. This will produce a very big downside target when the fall finally stops and we still do have a target of sixty dollars uh, for Brent crude uh, which seems nigh on impossible but we're seeing the daily chart now turning bearish as well so uh, we're, we're now hitting levels that we haven't seen since August so crude looking um, particularly bearish uh, on the short and medium term charts uh, looking at WTI similar we've had this uh, target for 58 uh, dollars 20 in train for quite some time and that's now being met so uh, interestingly the, the the targets are coming home to roost looking at uh, uh, US nat gas that's looking stronger we've activated an upside target of three dollars 27 we've got a long-term target still of three dollars 75 US nat gas actually holding much better than um, most products uh, looking at uh, uh, heating oil lower here with multiple downside targets and Arbob uh, also similar. Of course these products all been driven by the move in crude oil. Uh, looking at um, coal we still do have a downside target of 94.70. Um, again if you this is on uh, uh, icon data if you're running on your um, trayport screen you'll have uh, higher visibility uh, on uh, higher liquidity so you'll have higher visibility on the targets keep an eye on these one minute charts but we saw here coal this week lurching lower little relief rally lurching lower we're up this morning but uh, it's uh, interesting to see uh, how we um, progress from there and looking at uh, Richards Bay also um, we still got long-term upside targets, but bearish in the short term. Emissions are up three percent this morning, but um, and and really starting to melt on the uh, daily chart. Uh, and again, no clear targets because uh, we, we're really waiting for that uh, that target to kick in. And then uh, MBP also. Um, looking uh, higher this morning so we're seeing um, in increases there and also on TTF uh, as well. Uh, German gas uh, is still in its downtrend, Italian gas is up but still in its downtrend, 
German power actually um, looking uh, uh, better this morning. So uh, we're up 2% there as well. And French power 1.7% um, higher. Uh, so generally speaking, we're seeing the uh, European energy products higher for today. That's it for today. Until Monday, happy charting. See you then.